Before I begin, with your permission, I'd like to say a few words about the school shooting yesterday in Winder County, Georgia. You know, uh, my wife Jill and I are mourning those four gunned down two, two students and two teachers and wounded and hospitalized nine others. I'm sure you are as well. You know, uh, students, just young teenagers, educators, just doing their job, a community like so many around the country, just getting back to school, and a joyous and exciting time, absolutely shattered, shattered. I directed my team to immediately ensure that we're doing everything we can to provide support. The Department of Justice and the FBI are working closely with the state and local law enforcement investigating this. We have a lot of information, not all of it. We're grateful to school personnel and first responders who proved and prevented more people from being killed or injured and brought the suspect to custody. But as a nation, we cannot continue to accept the carnage of gun violence. I'm a gun owner. I believe strongly in the amendment. We need more thought, more than thoughts and prayers. Some of my Republican friends in Congress just finally have to say, enough is enough. We have to do something. Together, let's ban assault weapons. My dad is a hunter. I don't know a whole hell of a lot of deer wearing Kevlar vests. I'm serious about this. High-capacity magazines, once again, what do we need them for in terms of domestic use? There are too many people who are able to access guns that shouldn't be able to. So let's require safe storage of firearms. I know I have mine locked up, but how could you have an assault rifle a weapon in a house not locked up and knowing your kid knows where it is. You've got to hold parents accountable if they let their child have access to these guns. Let's enact universal background checks and then immunity and then immunity for gun manufacturers. And I realize I'm in a rural area like the rural parts of my state where guns, we all have them. And it's not popular to talk about it. But the truth is there's a difference between rational and irrational. Imagine you know, the only outfit in the world that we can't sue and by law, passed by law, are gun manufacturers. How about if that was the case with big tobacco? What do you think would happen? If we're not able to have sued tobacco, how many more people would be dead now but, 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 for the, uh, but for the ability to change the law? Folks, common sense measures supported by responsible gun owners, you know, won't bring back those children. But uh, Thousands of children have been gunned down the car. You know, more children are killed or die from a gunshot wound than any other reason in the entire United States. Every disease, every accident, everything. More die as a consequence of a bullet in the United States of America. But to help save lives if we do the things we're talking about and prevent communities from being ripped apart again. We can do it if we do it together, and I really think we can. So I just wanted to say that before we began. And now to our